Netflix and not chill. Let's talk about that. Good Mythical Morning. On Monday, we announced our very exciting announcement. It was announced. Our book, Rhett and Link's Book of Mythicality, yeah. and now we want to tell you a little bit more about that. The subtitle is A Field Guide to Curiosity, Creativity, and Tomfoolery. It's all about living the mythical life. And uh, we put a lot of ourselves into this book. Literally, there's gonna be some skin cells. Yeah. In some bloodshed. You get the book, you get some of our skin cells. Um, that part's not true. It's stories um, from our shared friendship, um, which is... Uh, a long time. About to be over. <laughs> yeah, right. And I, like, I think the book <laughs> will bring the, it to book, a close. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's, so it's part memoir, so lots of stories from like when mm. we met, but also so a lot of stories that we've Juicy never told. Juicy memoir We've stuff. never told, where we, we, we really revisited a lot of these memories and kind of drew some new things out of them. And, it, and it, then it, it, you know, it, it dovetails into some advice. Yes. With no actual dovetails involved. And yep. um, then just other things too. It's written yes. by us. We wrote it. Yes, it's, we did. It's finished, but uh, now we're working on the visual components. Because there's a lot of, there's a lot of, uh, just good fun stuff in good there. Good fun. Uh, and some things that I don't think have ever been done in books that we don't wanna spoil all that right now for you, mm. but uh, a lot of things are being illustrated right now. A lot of pictures are coming together, continuing to take pictures and to make pictures. Uh, and so we will keep you posted on that uh, over time. But uh, you can pre-order it right now. out details. Uh, you can pre-order it right now at bookofmythicality.com. Uh, so do that. Because you, you, you don't have to doubt. You are going, if you think, hmm, that sounds like something I might like, you will like it. You will love it. Uh, it's going to be coming in October, but you can pre order it now. Also, there's going to be an audible version uh, where we, uh, we're going to be getting two guys who sound exactly like us to read the entire book. Uh, actually, I, no, we I will. I think be we reading. should get uh, Shatner and um, who else? Yeah, well, I would have said Cri Nimoy, but he's. Yeah, he's, he's dead. <laughs> Shatner and Nimoy, well, that would have been a good combo. Morgan Freeman. Morgan Freeman and William Shatner. Now, we will be reading the audio, yes, audible will. version, which is uh, audio. Uh, and that's for pre order as well. So, oh. bookamethicality.com. Yeah, that. I don't know how you spell that or say it. Okay, let's, talk, it. let's talk about cheating. Netflix yeah, cheating. Yeah, man. Give it to me. Uh, Netflix has released some data. They they finally release some data. They they keep the data on a how many, tight over there. How many people are watching stuff uh, on Netflix? But they, no, no, they don't show specifically that. data about uh, Netflix cheating, which is the phenomenon of watching a show that you and your significant other have agreed to watch together, but you do it on your own. That's cheating, folks. And forty six percent of couples Netflix cheat. That's almost half. Mm. Um, Eighty one percent of people are repeat offenders. This is interesting. The highest percentage of cheaters, Brazil and Mexico. <laughs> it's getting spicy down there. <laughs> the lowest percent is in Netherlands. Okay. Oh, they're very, very faithful over there. Well, it, I think it gets cold and they all just stay inside and watch stuff. You together. can't get away from each other. Yeah. Uh, Eighty percent of cheating is, is it cold unplanned. In the Netherlands? Uh, and Not really. It's just below sea level. It. Uh, no, but it's the latitude is part That's of good. it. That's good. 14, now this is crazy, 14% of people who cheat think that it's worse than an actual affair. 100% well, of these people are insane. That's, I, I, that's our stat. I, I, dis, I disagree with that, but and I've never thought about it in terms of, of cheating, but it does make sense because it is a big deal in, in my household. Yeah. I mean, if I tell Christy, hey, I've got plans where I, I've got to go on a business trip over a weekend, the right. first thing she says to me is, oh man, now I gotta wait for you to watch yeah. whatever we're watching at the time, like 28 Walking of all, Dead. 28% of all cheating happens while the other one is on a business trip. That's yes. an opportunity. It And so she immediately thinks of that, but she is faithful, she does wait uh, for me to get back into town to watch the latest episode of The Walking well, Dead yeah. or whatever and it may be at the time. And it's a big deal in my house too, because when you've been married for over a decade and you have children, this watching television, 
this is as good as it gets. Oh, it is. Well, I mean, you it's, know what I'm saying? It's, when, it's when, a special when, time. When the kids go to bed, it is special. And you've got a show. I mean, I look That's forward it. to that all day. That is life. And um, I mean, that is what relationships are made of right. today. Right. And so when that is such a sacred thing that don't mess with that. Yeah. And so I'm happy to say that I have not cheated. My system is that I have if if, if she's out of town or I'm on a business trip or I'm on a plane. I watch things that are a little bit gritty. Gritty. I like gritty war. People where people get blown up and or just, killed. Just movies with grits. Because yeah, my wife doesn't like that kind of stuff. So I know that th- that's what's on limits, not off limits to me when she's yeah, out of town. Yeah. So I've I've got my little treasure trove of uh, grittiness, gritty war movies that I can watch. But when it comes to the things that we enjoy. Which the top cheating shows a lot of the stuff that we enjoy: Walking Dead, Orange mm-hmm. Is the New Black, Breaking Bad, American Horror Story, House of Cards, Narcos, Stranger Things, all shows that we've watched together and enjoyed together. Yeah, because you don't want to, you know, if you if you well, if I came back and she said, "Well, I watched Stranger Things without you, but I'll watch it again with you." It's like, no, no, no you can't. I don't want you to be sitting there. Potentially spoiling, but a lot, but not that, sharing. That's it. what a lot it's of people a, do, though. It's a shared moment. But a lot of people. It's got to be our first fake together and watch it again. I'm not going to call you guys out. We talked about this earlier on the well, crew. Faking. Several of the crew have confessed to watching it with the partner the the, the next night or whatever, and never telling and them, not acknowledging it. That's cheating, people. That's cheating. You should be so, ashamed of yourself. I I take this seriously. I am not a cheater. Um, but the thing that happens to me is, we're like, all right, we're set. Here we go. Press play on The Walking Dead, and we're all excited. You do that when you're getting ready to watch Let's TV? Stop, I'd get, never want to watch all television. All right, I'm ready. You. Here we go. <laughs> Put everything in its place. And then we start watching it, and a, a few minutes into it, uh, I look over at Christy, and she's like, eyes closed. I'm like, Christy, she's like, what? I'm just resting my eyes. She's like an old man over there, like, <laughs> in the recliner with like, the remote teetering on her, well, her belly, or? <laughs> yeah. Two remotes. My granddad would keep the remote <laughs> teetering on him, so even when he fell asleep, you couldn't take it and change the right. channel. Yeah. Uh, no, but Link, that's cheating, just so you know. If I, could, 20, if I keep watching while she's asleep, cheating. which I do every single cheating. time? 25% of all cheating happens after the partner has fallen asleep. You're a cheater, and you just admitted it. You walked right into it. When your wife falls asleep, listen, this is yeah, like- I'm supposed to stop? No, yeah, no, this is like, you've agreed that you're gonna enjoy a big Sunday together. Yeah. And you're enjoying the Sunday, and then she falls asleep, and you're like, whoop, you snooze, you lose, and you just eat the whole thing. No, you gotta take the Sunday, yeah. you gotta put it in the refrigerator, and you gotta save it for later. The solution is, you've got to have, first of all, I don't know about you, that. You need some. You need a, a thing of like ice water with you. Maybe we go a clockwork orange situation where right. you can just proper eyelids open. <laughs> Because you, you can't, she's ruining it for you. Are you what yeah, do you she do? is. She's, she only ke- knows the first half of every episode of the shows that you're watching. Before we start the next episode, I bring her up to speed. You're like, the last time on the last half of Walking Dead. <laughs> yeah, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> I do, I do Really? That. Yes. That is so pathetic, like, man. I, can't, I cannot rewatch. No, you gotta stop it and you gotta have another show that you watch. And I think this is the solution to all Netflix cheating. You have to have a show that is just yours. Each partner yeah. has to have a show that is just yours that when uh, somebody's out of town or somebody falls asleep, you can watch that. For me, that's Narcos. Again, it's a little gritty. And so my wife is like, oh. She doesn't she, want any I don't, of that. I'm not really interested in that uh, drug cartel's business. And so you can watch that. It's not and, in English either. And then she, exactly. And then she's got these, uh, these BB, various BBC dramas. Oh, yeah. Uh, now, I, I was a big fan of the Downton, Downton Abbey, but that's, that, that's about as far as I got into that whole world. And so she's got that situation. You call that it Downton enjoys. Abbey. So, yeah, for those in the know, that's what they say. Um, I doubt and I want to watch that. So you got to have a show that you can turn to when Christy mm. falls asleep, or you got to go Clockwork Orange and Ice Water. American Horror Story? I'll be, I'll be, I can't watch that alone. Yeah, you're too scared. <laughs> you can't do that. Mm. All right, find your show. That's thank, the solution. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. Yeah, you know what time it is. I'm May. I'm Dimitri. We're from Rotterdam. And it's, it's time, time to, to spin, spin the wheel of mythicality. If you don't want to cheat on your significant other with the Book of Mythicality, well, you each got to get your own copy, and you can do that at bookofmythicality.com. And click through to Good Mythical More. I have encountered something in a restroom that I had never seen before and didn't know how to use. I want to share it with you in Good Mythical More. 10 second tours. This is when you give us a very short tour of your hometown. Here's Caitlin from Green Turtle, 
Covey, Bahamas. Welcome to Green Turtle Key. We have beautiful scenery, ferry boats, golf carts, majestic seagulls, and gorgeous sunsets. Green Turtle Key, spelled C-A-Y. Sure, it's not, C -A -Y. not Covey? No, that's, that's not right. Hey, that's good, so submit yours. Hashtag 10 Second Tours. Click on the left to watch our show after the show, Good Mythical More. Click on the right to watch another episode of Good Mythical Morning. And click the circular channel icon to subscribe. Thanks for being your mythical best.